Today's story is going to be Gems, Nature's Jewels, Rubies. What are rubies? Rubies are the crystal form of the me mineral corundum. Corundum is made mostly of the element aluminum. Rubies are red because small amounts of the element coronium are mixed in with the aluminum. A gem called sapphire is made out of coronium too. However, sapphires are blue because they contain the elements iron and titanium instead of coronium. Sapphires and rubies are very hard stones. This makes them perfect for use in jewelry. Only diamonds are harder than rubies. What are rubies found? Most rubies are found in the Southeast Asian countries of Myanmar, also called Burma, Cambodia, and Thailand. For centuries, the Magog Valley in northern Myanmar was the world's main source of gem quality rubies. Today, Mongsu in central Myanmar is the world's chief ruby mining area. Ruby deposits in Myanmar are mixed with rocks and dirt very close to Earth's surface. Miners use simple tools to collect them. Most ruby mining in Myanmar has been done the same way for hundreds of years. Gem Journal The very best Myanmar rubies are sometimes said to have pigeon's blood red color. What do rubies look like? Raw rubies are six-sided crystals. They grow deep inside Earth where it's very hot. This takes a long time. As they grow, rubies trap tiny pieces of other materials inside them. These tiny bits of other minerals are called flaws or inclusions. All rubies have flaws. Once they're cut and polished, rubies are bright red and transparent. This makes it easy to see how many flaws a gem has. The most valuable rubies are those with the fewest flaws. At the mine, there are two ways to mine ruby. One is to dig a hole straight down. The hole becomes wider at the top as it gets deeper. This is called open pit mining. The other way is to dig a tunnel. Tunnel mines are work, more work by, but, but produce more gems. Miners look for red colored stone as they dig. Very few rubies are found in each mine. Miners have to dig a lot of dirt and stone to find a single gem. The ground where rubies are found in Myanmar is soft and easy to dig. Most ruby mines there are small and work by families. Finding gems. Rock from the mine is washed. Miners pour water over screens holding rock and dirt taken from the mine. Once the dirt is washed away, miners look closely at each every stone. Spotting ruby mixed in with so much rock is hard work. Most of the time, only a few small rubies are found in a day. Even though mining is very hard, miners continue to do it because they hope to find a lot of rubies and become rich one day. A lot of water is needed to rinse the stones taken from the ruby mine. Mines in Myanmar are often found near large supplies of water, especially rivers. Making Ruby Jewelry Turning a raw ruby into a beautiful gem requires a lot of skill. Ruby crystals are heated in an oven. Heating melts other material minerals that are trapped in a ruby as it formed. This makes the ruby more transparent and valuable. Diamond tip saws and lots of water are used to cut the crystal into the basic shape. Next, a jeweler called the Labrador grinds a lot of small flat sides onto the crystal. These are called facets. Then the ruby is polished. Faceted rubies are usually set in gold or silver. The rubies are held in a setting by small hooks that curve around the bottom of the stone. Star rubies. Special rubies called star rubies are red because they're not clear. They show a star shape when light hits them. Star rubies are cut and polished in a special way. They are made into a kabushan shape. Kabushans are round or oval mounds that are polished smooth. This shape makes it easy to see the star. Star rubies are held in metal settings called bezels. The metal curves around the bottom of the gem to hold it tightly in place. Star rubies have a small amount of the 
element titanium there. Titanium is a metal. This is what creates a star. What makes rubies valuable? A ruby's valuable is based on its color, cut clarity, and carat rate weight. Color is most important. Really expensive rubies are very deep red. Rubies from Manamar are thought they have the best color in the world. Rubies with the fewest flaws are worth the most. A leopardy carefully studies each ruby, become grinding fossils on it. A well cut ruby sparks in a light. Large dim quality rubies crystals are extremely valuable. Most finished rubies set in jewelry are small stones. Really rare rubies. The Hexam ruby crystal is believed to be the most perfect uncut ruby crystal in the world. It weighs more than 196 carats. This makes it one of the largest ruby crystals ever found. It's only displayed at the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles, California. The most valuable cut ruby is a Heart of the Kingdom Stone. It's a heart-shaped ruby that weighs more than 40 carats. It's currently worth more than $14 million. The ruby is set in the necklace with 155 carats of diamonds. Ruby Roundup! Ruby is the birthstone for a month of July. Ooh, what July is going to be do then? People who have been married 40 years often give each other a gift with rubies. The word ruby comes from the Latin word for red. Rubens. Warriors in ancient Burma are said to have put rubies under their skin to keep them safe in battle. Large deposits of rubies recently have been found in Greenland in areas that used to be covered by ice. Rubies are occasionally found in mines in North Carolina. The first man-made rubies were created in 1837. In 1960, the first laser ever made a man-made ruby to focus light. The End